Crowds gathered at two separate vigils to remember the 17 people killed in a duck boat tragedy in Branson, Missouri. As investigators now look for clues, eyewitnesses are reflecting on how that boat sank during a thunderstorm. Omar Villafranca picks up the story. Table Rock Lake looked idyllic Friday, the opposite of the horror that unfolded a day earlier when a duck boat capsized in stormy weather with 31 people on board. 17 of them died. Nine were from the same family. The age range for the 17 was from one year old to up to 70 year old. Mike Peterson was on board the Branson Bell. He saw the duck boat struggling to stay afloat and people scrambling to help. Just a bunch of, of visitors just jumped to it, came down there. There were a couple of really brave guys. <laughs> Amazing. State Park Marina manager Roger Carpenter hopped on a pontoon boat to rescue passengers, but all he saw was the debris field. The waves were probably five foot high, rolling just one right after the other. Life jackets everywhere. It was just a chaotic mess. Divers are still on the lake. You can see behind me, they're searching the area where the boat sunk. They were so close to shore, they could see it. Duck boats, by law, do have to have life jackets, but passengers are not required to wear them. The owner of the tour company said the vessel should not have been on the water in those conditions, and nothing like this has happened in the company's 47-year history. We're going to look through every single thing that we do and how we do it uh, to make sure that we're doing it the right way. The boat is submerged 80 feet below the water surface, and crews aren't bringing it up until Monday. Omar Villafranca for CBS3 Eyewitness News.